thought it'd be cool to make a sort of knockdown table to use for events like this. And I'll start by building these leg frames and I can get two legs out of one piece of two by six. I drew this layout on the legs, except it's slightly backwards because I'll have to cut this with the lines facing down on the table saw. And now I'll trim it to those lines on the jointer. It would have been easier to cut with a line facing towards me, but I need to cut out of the grain, not into the grain, so I have to face the pieces with a line away. And now cutting the mortises in the legs using the panter rotor. Cutting tenants is really messy, but it's also kind of satisfying to really see those chips fly. Though I used mortise and tenon joints, you could just as well build this table using dowel joints. I still need to cut some notches in the top of the legs for how that fits with the rest of it. And I'm adding a quarter inch round over to the legs. I'm sanding the edges on the ends of the legs because those don't need to be quarter inch and I also don't want to have to chip out. And the strip sander comes in handy for those hard to get at corners. Now I need to make these parts which glue onto the long rails like that and I'll start with a little wedge here. And that wedge is two centimeters wide on the long end and to get the taper I just put a little block in here. There's a rear layer to this bracket and I cut one out already and hopefully I have enough to cut four out of this piece of plywood. Oops. These two pieces go on here around the leg and I need to cut an incline off of it here so I can put that wedge in here and lock it. Leg goes here, a wedge and an angled one on one side and a straight one on the other side. Now I just gotta glue them together. I just glued the straight side on all four brackets. Two of those are mirror images. Now with the glue dry on the first half, I can use that to line up the second half with the uh, table leg and the wedge. I haven't done a great job of aligning the layers on these things, but I'll fix that now by trimming them to size. And now look at how perfectly these line up. Now I just need some straight 2x4s to go along here. And I've got some 2x4s here, but it turns out only one of these is even close to being straight. So I went back to the Home Depot where they had all kinds of shapes of 2x4s and I found these two that are quite straight.
Before going any further, I have varnished the legs and the brackets. I was going to glue these brackets onto the 2x4s, but I'm not that confident that those 2x4s will stay straight, so I'm just screwing them on. That table seems stiff enough. I started with a 4x8 sheet of plywood which I had cut in half at the lumber yard and I need to trim off a little bit to get it 1 meter or 40 inches wide. I'm cutting these corners backwards to avoid tearing the veneer on the top. And then I rounded and smoothed the edges with a belt sander. After that I finished the top with three coats of water-based polyurethane. I have to be really careful laying out where the holes go so that they'll line up with the holes on the base. Four marbles serve as alignment pins for each half of the top. So satisfying to click it in place. It can take a jump test, but without the top fastened down, the top itself jumps a little bit too. And if you want to build this table, I have a nice set of plans for sale on my website. See the link in the description.